Hello friends, today I will show you what is the standardization of sodium hydroxide and how it is done and what is the theory behind standardization of sodium hydroxide solution. First, let us, let us understand what is meant by standardization. Standardization is a process of exact determination of concentration of a solution, molarity maybe of a solution. What is primary standard? These are few of the terminologies that we will have to understand before doing standardization. A primary standard is a substance which is highly pure and it has the same amount of substance which was weighed. And here are some characteristics of the primary standards. For example, it is a highly pure, it is inexpensive, it is not toxic, it's non-hygroscopic which means it doesn't absorb any moisture from the atmosphere. It has always low reactivity and it's easily available. An example over here is KHP, potassium hydrogen phthalate. This is a primary standard. So against primary standard, we are to uh, standardize a secondary standard. So what is a secondary standard? It is a chemical substance, chemical that has been characterized against a primary standard. Example, sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is not a primary standard because it absorbs moisture and it doesn't have all those characteristics which we just discussed about KHP. What is an indicator? A chemical substance that undergo color change due to change in pH of a solution. Example, phenethylene changes uh, its color from colorless to pink in a basic solution. Let's calculate the weight of the sodium hydroxide uh, for its smaller solution. Molarity is equal to weight of substance in grams divided by molecular weight into volume of solution in liter. And we can also write the same equation. If you are not taking volume in liter, then you can use this formula. Molarity is equal to weight of substance into thousand divided by molecular weight into volume in ml or cc. Uh, we will use the first one, this formula, molecular weight of the sodium hydroxide. We must know the molecular weight of sodium hydroxide. And uh, if you look at uh, its uh, formula, uh, sodium 23, oxygen 16, hydrogen 1 and total comes out to be 40 gram per mole. So molecular weight of sodium hydroxide is 40 gram per mole. Uh, we, as we have just discussed molarity, so we are going to rearrange this equation. We are going to rearrange this formula. So weight, this weight of the substance comes out to be, we are multiplying this uh, <coughs> denominator with molarity and we get weight is equal to molarity into molecular weight into volume in liter. And uh, since we are preparing 0.1 molar solution, so we will put a uh, value for uh, 1 over here in this equation. So molarity 0.1, molecular weight 40, volume of solution 1 liter, hair volume in liter, 1 liter, so it comes up to be 4 gram, which means we require 4 gram of sodium hydroxide to be put into this 1000 ml flask or 1 liter flask. 0.1 molar solution to be prepared now the solution is ready but we are to standardize it we are to check whether it really has 0.1 molar solution or not and the other thing against which we are going to standardize sodium hydroxide is khp this is its formula khp potassium hydrogen phthalate it is slightly acidic salt so here is the calculation of its molar mass which comes out to be 204 gram per mole Preparation of a standard solution of KHP. Uh, apply the same procedure and weigh out amount of KHP. In this example, we will weigh it for 0.1 molar like we did for NaOH. We can also prepare a standard solution of KHP. So we will prepare standard solution of KHP. And how we will prepare? We will apply the same procedure as we have done for NaOH. So molarity of uh, uh, KHP we are to uh, prepare 0.1. Molecular weight is 204.2, volume of solution 0.1 liter. It must be kept in mind we are preparing this solution in 100 ml only and 1000 ml is equal to 1 liter. So 100 ml is equal to 0.1 liter. That's why we have taken, we have written 0.1 over here. So it comes out to be 204.2.04 gram. So we are to put 2.04 gram into this flask of 100 ml, 0.1 molar is ready for KHP. Keep in mind, this is the standard solution. This is exactly the solution that we have prepared. And when we are going to standardize it, this is KHP. It would react with sodium hydroxide to give us this uh, salt, sodium potassium salt of uh, 
um, hydrogen uh, sodium potassium salt of this acid and this is the water that of course will come out from this neutralization reaction so we are going to um, so this is um, m1 v1 divided by n1 is equal to m2 v2 divided by n2 this actually shows the number of moles of khp and this shows the number of moles of naoh how do we know these are number of moles you can see over here number of moles by volume of solution in liter is equal to molarity and when you multiply molarity with volume molarity with volume you get number of moles so number of moles on this side of khp number of moles on this side of naoh so just put in the values since we have prepared catch p solution 0.1 model volume this volume this is the volume that we will take over here this is the volume that we will take uh, in a titration flask that is to be titrated against um, uh, sodium hydroxide and uh, this one is a number of moles over here in the balanced equation that is one if it is two you will have to add it two and similarly for NOH we don't know its molarity we don't know its exact molarity although we have prepared 0.1 mole solution but it is not exact molarity because it contains sodium it can it contains a moisture that could also be wet with and V2 is the volume of the solution that uh, in this example we are we are supposing that it has been consumed and N2 is the number of moles this is the volume that has been used after doing the titration after doing this these uh, experiment so only one quantity m2 is unknown and if you calculate the molarity for this it would comes out to be 0 0.1 molar so uh, this would be the molarity of sodium hydroxide and now you can say your solution is standardized uh, keep in mind that uh, when you are doing it um, in your lab it would all it would always be less than what it was here this is the burette this is the titration flask and this is the phenophthalene indicator that has to be a few drops of it is to be uh, put into this uh, titration flask and um, when the sodium hydroxide solution would run down and slightly uh, pinkish color appears we will have to stop it and we have to do these calculations since we have uh, taken the weight of sodium uh, khp in the uh, titration flask we already we already know its volume we already know its molarity we already know the volume of um, sodium hydroxide that is that is consumed over here because it would be uh, apparent from this burit and um, uh, molarity of course is to be determined through these calculations